Thank you, Sheena. Rhode Island is joining several states in removing a type of guardrail that's been blamed for deadly highway crashes. According to data from the Federal Highway Administration, 33 states use the X-Lite guardrail, but now the Ocean State will be the seventh to remove it from its roads. The company that makes the X-Lite says it has passed federal crash and safety tests, but a local safety expert says those tests were too lenient. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us now live in studio with more details. Caroline. Well, Mike and Shannon, the Rhode Island Department of Transportation says the state began using the X-Lite guardrails about four years ago, but the DOT is now set to remove them from Rhode Island roads. There's no timetable or cost set for this move, but one local expert is praising the decision. I don't understand how you can leave a dangerous product on the road after you've already acknowledged it. That's Russian roulette. Stephen Eimers lost his 17-year-old daughter in a violent car crash in Tennessee in 2016. Her car veered off the highway, hitting an X-Lite guardrail. But instead of absorbing the impact of the crash like it was designed to, the guardrail collapsed. And what we're seeing is around the country there's been a number of crashes where they have failed to ride down and they've actually pierced into the vehicle and caused a number of deaths and injuries. Imers has been calling state DOTs nationwide to tell them about the X-Lite. And now the Rhode Island Department of Transportation says it's going to remove the 350 X-Lite guardrails set up in the state. It's a move praised by Sean Kane, who owns a safety research company in Rehoboth. But if you go back and look at the testing that was done on the X-Lite, I mean, they're really marginal. The federal government really dropped the ball. They didn't give the states the guidance. They put them on the qualified products list. And when they started to fail in the field, ultimately they've left it to the states to fix. This breakdown is from Lindsay Transportation Solutions, which manufactures the X-Lite. A representative tells Eyewitness News that road safety doesn't solely fall on the product manufacturer. Adding in a statement, quote, there is no road safety equipment that can prevent injury every time a driver fails to stay on the road. But X-Lite has reduced the number and severity of injuries sustained in automobile accidents. And Kane says the X-Lite has been taken off the qualified products list in Massachusetts, but they haven't been taken off the roads. In fact, Massachusetts has the highest number of X-Lite guardrails in the entire country, using about 2,600 of them. I did reach out to the Federal Highway Administration for comment on this story tonight, but have not yet heard back. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.